Hey folks, it's me, Dr. Mike. Welcome back to the Targeting the Muscle series. Today, we're gonna to be targeting the triceps in the overhead easy bar extension. Now you notice my immediate attempt to demonstrate this movement has already failed. I can't bring my fucking arm, my shit is too big. I'm essentially some combination of too jacked, too fat, and too immobile to demonstrate this, which is why I have purchased, activated, and brought the wife unit, and she is ready to demonstrate. Let's get to it. Okay, folks, tip number one in overhead easy bar tricep extensions is to make sure that you point your elbows in. So Crystal is gonna do this wrong initially. I just want you to do a behind the neck press essentially and let your elbows flare out. Like that's all good and well. And what I will say is uh, the triceps will still get hit, but you get a lot of front delt stuff. It could be front delt limiting. You could have front delts in another part of your program and that's no good to us. So what we wanna do is before we start moving, yep, you see how she angles her shit in. The elbows, you wanna have like lines pointing out. You wanna point those lines laser-like forward at your gym crush. Ideally do this in front of your gym crush. We're filming, stop laughing. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, folks. Just doesn't listen sometimes, you know? So elbows in, point it forward and nice and slow on the way down. And the elbows stay in as you go down. It's gonna be tough because you're gonna wanna flare. Now as she goes up, she's gonna keep her elbows in and you can rack honey, no problem. There is a temptation as you go up to have your elbows flare. And what I'll say is this, make sure on the way down, your elbows point as far forward as possible. On the way back up, it's okay if they flare a little bit. It's not a super huge concern. As long as on the next rep, you get them in and they point as far forward as possible. Now, if you are bigger and more jacked and have pecs and stupid shit in the way like I do, your idea of in may end here. And that's okay as long as it's as far in as you can reasonably put them. Sound good? Let's get to the next tip. Your first time on set? I'm Dr. Mike. Traditionally, the way people do most exercises like this, including skull crushers and overhead extensions, is they'll do what Crystal is about to demonstrate, which is the first movement they make comes backwards. They break at the elbows and go straight back. This is totally fine for a ton of people. You can press it back up, honey. Totally fine for most people. The problem is, is for a lot of people, it's gonna result in elbow pain. It's similar to if you start your squats and the first movement you do is breaking at the knee. Typically, for some people, that can cause a lot of knee pain. Same idea, it's a shearing mechanism. So what I found works really well to feel your triceps a ton and keep your elbow safe is the first movement is your elbows break that way. And then instantly, right away, right after you come back, so it's a break forward movement first by a little bit, and then you come back down, just like that. Next tip is not just to go down, but to go down and reach back as far as possible. This offers us a huge loaded stretch component to the triceps. I know it trains the long head. I swear to fucking God, one more person on this video comments about the long head, I'm ending it all. That's it, folks. No more YouTube videos. Gunshot to the head, whatever, to pull with your toe. Before we get too morbid, yes, the long head is a head of the triceps that works. There's other heads. It's equally as important. Long head training, you get a lot of in pulling movements anyway, so no big deal. But overall, for the tricep, and of course the long head, it's a super good idea to stretch the living shit out of it, especially at the bottom. The way you accomplish this is instead of collapsing with your head and sort of doing this, you have to reach as far back as you can. It's slow, it's meticulous, it's painful for the triceps, which is good, and it will humble the living shit out of you with how much less weight you have to put on the bar. But if you guys have been following RP for a bit, or if it's your first time, you're onto the shit that like, we're not about lifting heavy weights for no reason. We're about getting stronger in the most challenging positions that best train the muscle. So Crystal, do it wrong real quick. You're a bro, tilt that head down real far. Touch that hairline. Yeah, brother. It's kind of like a press or something. Yeah, hell yeah. You can lift a lot of weight like this. Won't feel a lot of triceps though. Now, reach back really far. You'll notice where she contacts is like right on the traps and then all the way up in one more good rep. You're reaching back as you're going down and that stretches the living dog shit out of your triceps. If you want to take a pause at the bottom, feel it out for a second, that's even better. Give that some. All right, so the next cue, the next tip we have to feel your triceps more is to maximize the range of motion and to make sure that you are controlling the eccentric. On this exercise, a nice slow three second eccentric is everything in this world. 
And if you go super deep and control these centric and take in all the corrections and tips from before, you're gonna zap the living shit out of your triceps. Like when a fly gets into one of them electric zappers and you're like, oh, it's a fly. He's kind of cute and fuzzy. And it's like, and like, oh my fucking God, is he dead? But then you look at the fly and he's like, like electric arcs are going around his six fucking limbs and he's like, I can never die. What, Dr. Mike, are you having a stroke? Close, let's take a look at this tricep stuff. So, boom. First, we're gonna do it wrong. We're gonna do it fast with a limited range of motion. But you can't even do limited ROM. She's been around full ROM so long. There we go, yeah, yeah, crank it out. And use 100 trillion pounds, no good. So, let's fix it. Let's keep those elbows in. Let's take our time, slow and super deep and up. Elbows in, slow and super deep. Just like that, perfect. Thank you so much, Crystal. You know, this is my first time on camera with a pretty girl saying slow and super deep. If you get a fancy easy bar like this, this is nice, or a regular easy bar, or a straight bar, you're gonna ask the question of where in the living fucking God do I put my hands? Is it here, is it there, is it everywhere? The answer is dealer's choice. You're gonna wanna experiment with a bunch of different grips. My recommendation is to always use uh, the monkey paw, the open palm like this, it seems to work better for not hurting the elbows. If you wanna wrap, that's totally cool. Where you put your hands is a matter of where for your structure, you feel, did a fly just land on my face? Ooh, Fuck, okay. it's really on your shoulder right now. In any case, where you feel it best is the correct answer. I could tell you bullshit make believe biomechanics. Technically the angle of super is better here. Fuck out of here with that shit. Everyone's built a little bit different. Yo, he built different. Is that a meme? That's a meme, right, Scott the video guy? So it's always fun until that guy gets hit by a car and dies and you're like, Yes, he was pretty much built the same. In any case, two things. One, experiment, different grips. Find which one seems to hit the triceps a ton while keeping your shoulders and elbows feeling good. Point two, that could change, not just over the course of your life as you get more jacked and as you get leaner, things change, but it can also change sort of several months to several months. So you could use several months of overhead extensions, variations with this grip, and then you're like, ah, eh, it's getting a little stale. You try this grip and it's also the correct answer just different. This is one of those pasta versus rice questions. There's no correct answer. The correct answer is whatever you feel like, slash a bit of both, but never mix together. Is there, is there a dish where there's pasta and rice mixed together? In any case, folks, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you guys next time for another one of these. You may ask, where did my life, uh, <laughs> where did my life go? Where did my wife go? I think she left. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck it up. Do you understand? We're on fucking video. Don't fuck it up. You have a small fucking dick. <laughs>